it's a message we do go out to with salon people from the face west card pocket network west africa news network and the civil peace service <laughs> My name is Mohamed Amidullah and I'm installing as a facilitator for today's program. I am well prepared at least to, to see my colleagues. I say because we are colleagues in the learning process, I myself am a student. So I am very much prepared at least to give them my own understanding of um, the topic leadership. Um, I believe the essence why we really stringing on this particular topic is to ensure that we groom these young students or people that are coming up to be better people in society because sooner or later they are the people that are going to hold on to very prominent positions in the future. So if there is any virtue that we are going to inculcate in them, it should start now uh, because there is um, a local saying that we usually say in our lingua franca, I put where the iron warm and turn for wapa. So we consider them as having the potential at least to change their lifestyle at this very early age, to think positive, um, to embrace peace and to embrace patriotism and other important virtues uh, to be good leaders tomorrow. So it is of a sense that we really speak to them at this very early age about leadership. So um, I am well prepared, of course, to visit them, as I said, and I believe they too, they are really attentive at least to listen to me. I'm Al Faso, another student. Um, so basically, the presentation today, it was a very good one. It was an, expe an experience, um, a platform. Um, sharing ideas with other college students really wonderful. So I, I learned a lot from colleagues themselves. I learned a lot from everybody who participated, and I felt, um, I felt today I felt different in, a, in different ways simply because I see people around after I've done my presentations, the questions that we asked. We are very, we are very silent. It shows that the, um, the we are cooperating. It also shows that they really understand the presentation. So, like, it's a really a wonderful idea. Yes, of course, we've learned a lot ever since the initial stages, getting us here to the world. We are taught also about corruption, the ills of corruption in the society. And now corruption has completely destroyed Sierra Leone as a whole and Africa at large. Corruption is a, is a good practice. It's one thing that, that really, if it is not stopped, it can lead us to something else. Look for example, we see people that are in, that are in top positions in the society. People that us, young, young people, uh, students, young people are looking up to. They are the one uh, enforcing this corruption in the society. They are the one practicing corruption in the society. And if these things are not stopped, if corruption is not tackled right now, it will lead to something else. Because us seeing them, them being our mentors, the people are looking up to, them being involved in corruption, we ourselves, at the end of the day, will start practicing corruption and that will be bad for the society. And also marginalization and injustice. Marginalizing people. That is affecting them so, in so many ways. It's affecting them in physically, mentally, emotionally, and even psychologically. Because we see someone that is blind, someone that is amputated, and we, 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 we are in a particular group. And we are in that group, we, everything is bright and beautiful for us, we are okay. And that person that is blind, that person that is somehow uh, disabled, we are, we are pushing that person away. That is, that is way, that are ways by which we marginalize people, and that is affecting them, even if they are not, uh, we are not seeing it, but it's affecting them inside, and that is bad. And also injustice, we see, inju in, 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 we see injustice things happening in different ways, like in schools, grades that are meant for us are being given to those that pay money to the teacher for, for those grades. That is, a, that is a complete evidence of injustice. And also we learned secondary about leadership and all those sorts, leadership skills and all those. And now what are the qualities in being a good leader? And the first and utmost um, quality of being a good leader is for you to have integrity. 
Integrity is something that is so much key if you want to be a good leader. And that everybody that is a ruler is not a leader. A ruler is someone that has uh, the, the, the overall command in, in a particular organization. When a leader is someone that listens, is someone that has certain leadership quality like respect, integrity, and if someone lacks such quality, he or she is not a leader, but rather a ruler. Abdulashir Ahmed Amwa, from the Umar Abdul Khattab Islam Secondary School, where the training is very good. It helps us to be, it helps us to minimize corruption. Corruption cannot be stopped or completely killed, but it can be minimized. And it helps us more about monetization. And it helps us not to do any bad thing or any stuff. It also helps us to think more reason. And it helps us to it helps us courage. It gives us courage. The training actually is good. Like the teachers like injustice, corruption and leadership, the quality of a leadership and the effect of a leadership, the difference between leadership and a ruler. My name is Khadija Samko. I'm from the Government Municipal Senior Secondary School. And um, we plan to organize a workshop, three days training for we the school going people. They talk about leadership, patriotism, and also the use of corruption and the effect of math practice in public exam. First of all, we the children, if we use to math practice, it affects us in the future. Because let me say for example, if they take you outside country and they say they give a scholarship for you to go and study outside and you are used to that math practice. Let me say if you are math practice there and you will give your country a bad name. And also they talk about patriotism. How to be faithful to your country, how to have love for your country, how to have respect for your country than another country, and also leadership. You need to be a good leader. If you be the president of a particular country, you need to serve that criteria of that particular country so that your country will be a better nation. That is all I learned. Patriotic advocacy network and one, the West African Youth Network are doing together, bringing students from all angles across the country, ed educating them on crucial topics. This because the essence of this is ensuring that they um, participate in nation building and by so doing its role, the positive impact is that it will help um, students not to to um, go astray because seeing young people like us coming around it, um, speaking on issues it really serves as a motivation for them helping them to realize that their goals is attainable because they are only seeing young faces coming around so it's really um, a plus on the side of this organization which I most acknowledge and I am very good for the platform and I, the presentation really um, was, was good and I appreciate um, the contribution of each and every student so far and that's, that's all I, I have. Uh, my name is Abu Kamara and I'm one of the facilitators for this particular edition and I was so fortunate to tutor on patriotism and believe me it gave me so much pleasure to be in that posture to educate young folks out there about patriotism. Now the thing about patriotism is very much big in terms of ideas, in terms of having the actual concept itself. It could be a single word, but it goes beyond so many things. And we've been hearing about the word patriotism, be patriotic, be a patriot. But then again, we do not know how to go about it in its integrities. And so today, I was so privileged to um, give a lecture on patriotism, ranging from its history, its development, and what patriotism really is. It has to do with so many fundamental keywords that has to be love, um, that of um, devotion, that of passion, that of loyalty to a nation. And it's not just these mere feelings that we are having, but we must ascertain that indeed these 
um, different elements that could love, loyalty, respect, support to the nation must be put into practicality. And if we do so, then indeed one can say indeed we are patriots. We are patriotic. And again, we don't even know the sources. The power to now hear yeah, those books which are just taught did not know the sources of patriotism. And through my lectures we go to understand that it would be derived from a natural compulsion or will. That is you just feel like doing it. And sometimes it could be uh, addicted by legal context within the, the, the nation. Um, first of all, uh, my name is David Sandy from the Kelly School of Education and Culture Senior Secondary School. Well, uh, being part of band uh, has added a lot to my life, a lot of values, because um, these three days uh, training has uh, really enlightened my understanding. And uh, for example, uh, then I, I thought that all rulers are leaders, but yesterday I finally knew that we have rulers and we have leaders. The definitions and the differences always touch to me. And uh, today, uh, Mr. Kate uh, touched on the area which is integrity. And uh, I knew that integrity is a very important value, but I didn't knew some of the characters that pursue uh, integrity. But today now, I have understood it very well, and I hope I'm going to put it into practice to obtain my own integrity, self respect, and self discipline. That's of my name from the Great Ahmadiyya Muslim Secondary School. And the Pathetic Advocacy Network um, make an workshop, three days training, training of trainers. So I am working part of the training. Firstly, um, what I understand the most, or what I love most, the topics that I love most that they taught us, um, corruption. Because as we all know, corruption is a good cause for a country's failure. So I learned that corruption is not good and we should try to stop it uh, in our school and also in our communities. And corruption is affecting, even me, it's affecting me even in, in my school and in my community also, because especially in my community. Because if I remember what happened, okay, let me say this uh, example, this money that passed, they said all of these that we've really said the first time. And the, the later turn around that uh, only those that are, have adequate, but as a result, we, 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 we had some of uh, our colleagues do not have adequate, they also receive the money because, because they have money, they bribe. But, but as for me, I want to stop corruption, so I avoid. And also, what I learned most today is our, about leadership, characteristics of leadership. One, uh, a leadership which should have influence. Which means you should seek ideas. You should give. You should not give false, false uh, statements to your to your members as a leader. You should not manipulate them, but you should influence them. Which means when we talk about manipulation, that means giving them false statements. Like, let me say, if you lie to them, like something has happened at, at a particular company, then you are lying to them. You try to tell them the truth. That is manipulation. You should not be manipulating them, but you should be influenced to them. And also, I learn about marginalization, which means differentiation between a person as a result of tribalism or poverty, as a result of tribalism or poverty. So we should learn how, we should learn how to marginalize our, our people because we are the same. Even though we, we came from different ethnic groups, but we are the same. So this is what I learned today. Thank you. Bye. Advocating in many schools, let them join the Patriotic Advocacy Network. It will help them in the future. But not now. Can't say the word now, but in the future. It's said to be an artificial man. It can be sued and can be sued. My message is, my message to the people is that, let us join the Patriotic Advocacy Network. If we join the Patriotic Advocacy Network, it will help us, not only today, not only tomorrow, but in the future. In the future, like, it helps us to be bold, speak in public, public speaking, spelling B. That also influences us to read more. It eager us to study. Like, if you see talks to like Amalia, the Muslim Congress, the Annual Royal School, and you living in there in that small school, it will help you more to read. So that's all. Since yesterday, they, they taught us about advocacy. So I intend to do advocacy in my school and my community with my colleagues 
and I'm also I'm on it because in my school I usually stand at the devotion, giving them motivation to speak about corruption, marginalization, and also leadership. Because in this early age, we should know about leadership because we are the future leader of Masalon. Some of the changes are like the way I usually um, interact with my colleagues because the, the marginalization aspect. There are certain um, guys at schools that I look upon, and uh, I don't consider them uh, my, 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 my rank, my types, and uh, we're not in the same class. So but now that I've gotten the idea about uh, marginalization, I am going to treat everybody equally, and I'm going to give each and every one their own respect in which they deserve. And because uh, I'm, uh, 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 I'm not only an uh, uh, ambassador of my school, but I'm also um, a leader of uh, three teams in my, in my school. And um, I believe that any action, of, uh, uh, anything I'm going to do towards my school, I'm going to do justifically, just uh, in the justice way. Just this way, listen, I'm going to give everybody his or her rights. I'm not, going to, see, I'm not just going to say because I'm the leader, I should do everything. Because yesterday I was told that a good leader doesn't do all the work. He assigns different works to other people so everybody will be equal. So that's one of the characters that I'm going to do, I'm going to be using now on after this three days. The mindset I'm having now, it is something that is enormous and that is essential. Because, first off, at um, when I was not part of the Presbyterian Advocacy Network, when I haven't been attending these workshop training system of trainers, I was having a mindset that I was completely outside the authority, outside the authorityism. I was only about corruption, marginalization, injustice, and all the effects of those. What as of now, I can now say I'm not. Um, I cannot say I'm going to. I'm going to try and, and, and abstain myself out totally away from corruption, but I'm going to be gradually, gradually, and by so on, I'll see how best my life will be corrupt free, my life will be unjust free, and my life will be marginalizational free. And also leadership, the mindset, I'm, as for me, I was having a, a, a leadership mindset that when I'm in charge, I'm in charge. I don't want to know what others say, I don't want to know what, what other uh, think about a particular thing. What I know is what I know and that is what I'm going to implement. But me being a beginning, me learning what I can learn from what uh, uh, um, our trainer told us that to be a, a good leader, you must first of all how to communicate, not to talk to those that are near you, your subordinates and all. And that is a new mindset I'm having because of this training. It has changed my, my mindset that a good leader isn't, isn't someone that, that just thinks of himself, isn't someone that, that, that just tries to monopolize everything, but someone that seeks uh, advice, someone that listens to others, someone that makes another person's uh, idea, uh, someone that, that makes another person's own, own, own ideology about something, look somehow essential, no matter how is it. So that, that are some of the, 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 the the mindset I'm now having from the, the benefit of this thing. In, in Sweden, Section 13 of our Constitution makes provision of how one can be a good patron or citizen of this particular country. And again, education. When one comes to you, one actually lectures you on how to be patron, then you can be a good um, patron. And again, there are so many benefits we can actually um, the why from being a patriot or a patriotic individual. One is that it unifies you and the populace of the country in majority. You also will be in that capacity to render fortitude and strength to the nation in terms of progress. And it makes you to be again the position we are in. We will have a singular mind for a progress of a nation or a country in the midst of majority minds. When we have this common sense of being a patriot, of being patriotic, having love, loyalty, respect and support to your country, then we can have a better nation. And again, we have been misunderstanding patriotism for, na for nationalism, okay? So when we say nationalism, it goes beyond patriotism. It talks about an excessive and aggressive patriotism. So we are patriotism first, then nationalism comes in. And so 
<laughs> I believe I'm still justified to be such a person to inculcate such concepts into those students or people who we are from the East. Before this time, uh, I and uh, Mr. Isa, we usually go to schools and uh, doing some uh, advice, I, I, advising a student. But now that I have been this three days, it has given me more knowledge and that it, it, it has it, it be helping me now when I will be going to different schools. Because I have now where I will look, uh, I have a preference now that we will I'll be able to convince people, that we will be able to tell them something substantial. The other message in which I want to say is that Sierra Leone is our country, we don't have another place to go. So we the people are the ones that are going to make this country. So let us come together and do what is best for the country. Thank you. The training has been a lot to my mindset because previously I had a negative mindset about I not to be a good leader, a person that is not patriotic. But since I came to this workshop, that changed me a lot. I'll be a better person. First of all, I want to say a very big thanks to Patriotic Advocacy Network, Sierra Leone, um, because it has been doing very well to ensure that these young minds are being come up in a positive way. So um, if I am to make a statement, I will just want to continue to inspire them, at least to have a continuous process of such seminar and symposium or, or, or training sessions organized at least to ensure that students get proper training or at least an opportunity or a platform to reform their life because as I said um, initially, sooner or later they will be um, our future leaders and if we are to ensure good leadership in the future, it starts now. So I am thanking them and I pray that God bless them with the resources and whosoever is supporting at the, at, at the back scene or whosoever is the shadow supporter, um, I want to thank you and I pray that you continue to um, support this particular organization and a very big thanks goes to the executive um, director, that is Ansumana Keta, um, a young man that I've worked with for a very long time when I was in high school, so, and he's currently a colleague of mine, um, pursuing the same course at the University of Sierra Leone, so, um, he's relentless work to ensure that speakers are well trained or they are well come up with the, the attributes of patriotism to see that they become better leaders of tomorrow cannot be overemphasized. So I want to really, really thank him and thank all uh, members of the Patriotic Advocacy Network, particularly the executive members, um, as we hope to have more of the sessions to inspire young minds to become great leaders in the future.